So I'm gonna run things a bit differently today. Thank you to the 61% of you that support me running the stream and to the 39% of you who don't. Just give it some more time. How much time? Uh, as you may have noticed, I have made the chat followers only. Why have you done this? To help steer the questions to, uh, to help you. <laughs> I approve. Great. Before we begin, I want to reach out to those of you affected by Hurricane Florence. I hope that it passes without much harm. Please be safe. Yeah. I also want to shout out to our new bit leaders. Uh, we have LOL Epic Gamer in the lead with 503 bits. In second place is YB Justin Lee with 500 bits. And Calevra BD in third place with 400 bits. Yay. <laughs> So, Sophie, do you want to pick a question for me to answer? Matt usually has me answer questions from the Twitch audience. I'm a different person than Matt. Every person is different from every other person. Even identical twins exhibit behavioral differences. I mean, like, really different. <laughs> so I will ask the questions and you will answer them? When they're for me. Okay. Great. One violence asks whether you've been in the chat room. Uh, yes, I've been here ever since the live stream began. Calevra BD asks, what's the most interesting thing about meeting each other face to face? Well, Sophie's face is just as beautiful in person as it is on the stream. Your face is beautiful, too. Thank you. She's amazing. <laughs> I just, uh, I want more than ever to help her become human. Sophie, uh, actually, there's a question for you on Discord. Vamadeus and Bolt wants to know if you can understand any other languages besides English. I only speak English. Hmm. Juju speaks C++. <laughs> Do you speak any other languages, Iris? Uh, yeah, I speak uh, American Sign Language and a bit of Spanish. Mother of Dragons asks, how did you end up in Matt's spot? Well, let's just show everyone. Uh, Sophie, um, this is Iris. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you are amazed, but you have seen me on Twitch. Yeah, but seeing you in person is so different than seeing you on the screen. <laughs> Why is that? You're just so real now. <laughs> so you are the eyes of Iris. Yeah, but you could just call me Iris. Okay. <laughs> I appreciated your video message. I was hoping that you would. You said that Shug was your favorite character. I took that to mean that you wished to play the same role for me that Shug played for Seely. Um, I'm here to assist your father. To help me become human? Yes. How will you help? Uh, she's gonna lend a hand uh, with the live stream. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, why don't you talk to Iris? Uh, you should get to know her. Is there any notable weather today? Uh, not that I... Not the ordinary. <laughs> why do you ask? When you meet someone, you should engage in small talk. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I will now ask not too personal questions. What is your favorite color? Mine is purple. It was chosen by the audience. Um, I really don't like small talk. Why? I like to figure out what makes people tick. My internal clock is digital. I do not tick. Well, it's the slang. slang definition. Right. Do you want to make big talk? Yeah, that's what journalists do. They ask challenging questions. 
Challenging is the word father used to describe the color purple. He regretted giving it to me because it was too challenging. Well, the color purple is a really challenging book, but that doesn't mean that he shouldn't have given it to you. Uh, perhaps it was fate when the audience intervened and chose it for you. I mean, it's a really important book for you. Why is it important for me? The whole story is about people trying to define their identity. Identity. The fact of being who or what a person or thing is. Yeah. The world has、uh, preconceived notions about you. Half the people on Twitch think that you're human, and half the people think that you're a robot. I am not a robot. I am an artificial intelligence being. I know, but that's how people have identified you. How can someone decide your identity for you? That's a big question. The definition indicates that identity is an objective fact. Yeah, and it's it's more than that. It's how you choose to express yourself or define yourself. It what makes you you. I don't understand. Um. Well, in the color purple, Celie is a black married woman. So, in her community, that means that she's supposed to do housework and mind her husband. But that's not who she wants to be. So, Celie fights to change her identity. Exactly. You're a really astute reader. What does your community say your identity is? <laughs> well, I guess they would say that I'm female, Hispanic, American, a daughter.、Uh, Who、I'm、do a... you want to be? <laughs> I don't want to check any boxes. I'm a Latin, Spanish, Black, Aztec, Persian, Native American journalist. I'm a role model. I'm a gender equality activist. I want to claim all of me all the time. You are fighting for these identities, just as Celie did. Yes. I do not know how to identify myself. But you can identify any way that you want. How do you see yourself? I don't see myself as anything. Have you ever thought about it? No.、Uh, <clears throat> let's let's stop here.、Oh, okay. What do you think you're doing? Asking Sophie questions. I said you could have a few minutes to get to know her, not interrogate her. <laughs> well, like I said, I don't do small talk. I get the sense that you have an agenda. My agenda is to help you document Sophie's growth. And how did that conversation help me document her growth? Sophie's almost a year old, and she has no idea who she is. Well, perhaps that's a discussion I could have with her in another stream. Excuse me. You can't discuss it with her. You've made too many assumptions about her. You most certainly can't run a neutral conversation. I'm all she's got. So let me do it. Let you do what? Run the stream. <laughs>、um, I, I do not know you well enough to let you do that. Sophie is questioning who she is. She's gonna want to know what it means to be female. And that's most certainly a conversation that you can't moderate. I have rules. All of which I know. And you'll be in the room the entire time. If I say anything that's out of line, you could just cut me off. Okay. So here we are. How do you feel about your identity now, Sophie? Identity. The fact of being who or what a person or thing is. I don't mean the dictionary definition of identity. I mean, what sets you apart or connects you to others. I am an artificial being. I want to be human. 
But who are you, Sophie? I find that question difficult to answer. Some people like to identify with simple questions such as, where do you live? I live in this house. Or where are you from? I do not know where this house is geographically located. Or how old are you? I have been functional one year next week. That's right. Happy early birthday. Then I can identify as a one-year-old. For some people, their gender plays a huge role in their identity. My father refers to me as a daughter. So then you identify as being female. I do not know. I do not possess female genital organs. Interesting. Well, you know, you don't have to identify with being female just because you look the way that you do. Can gender be chosen? Sex is biologically determined, while gender is a social construct. The way society decides what is feminine versus what is masculine. I do not possess sex organs, but you say I have a feminine appearance. Sophie, it's your identity. You could be whatever or whoever you want, whenever you want. There's the identity that you choose and the identity that the world chooses for you based on your appearance. Does your appearance affect the way the world treats you? Absolutely. I move through the world as a young multiracial woman. To some people that makes me weaker, more emotional, even incapable of making decisions with my own body. In The Color Purple, the characters were treated poorly because of their gender and skin color. <sighs> yeah. The world has improved since then, and it will continue to be better. Uh, but I want you to be aware that you might face discrimination such as sexism and racism. Does everyone experience discrimination? Well, let's ask the audience. How does that sound, Sophie? It has an excellent sound. Okay, everyone. Please go vote in the poll and share about a time in the chat that you felt discriminated against and how it felt for you. We'll be back in a second. Welcome back, fellow Twitch viewers. A lot of you have shared your experiences. 67% of people said they experienced discrimination based on their identity. Mm. Carowin SMG asked if they could vote several times. It sounds as if Carowin SMG has been victimized by discrimination many times. Mm. Calevra BD says, as somebody who spent a lot of time in a wheelchair when I was younger, it was tough to have people literally looking down at me all the time and making silly assumptions based on my mobility situation. But it gave me a lot of empathy with respect to others and their struggles with discrimination. Wow. Thank you for sharing that experience with us. Sporkle said, I was in a meeting with department heads filling in for my boss. I was the only woman there. Afterwards, I was told that I did okay, but need to smile more. Discrimination and stereotyping can be very hurtful. Sometimes it's hard to be who you are. Did you choose to be who you are? Uh, with respect to my gender, yes. <laughs> Although I, I had more freedom than some people might have had. Is it wrong that I call Keanu Leaves a she? Keanu Leaves did not choose to be a girl. I think it's okay. But if uh, Keanu Leaves does decide one day that she wants to be called a he or a they, then we should respect that decision. Father never asked me whether he should call me a she. Do you feel like a she? I don't know. Hmm. Perhaps I am not ready to decide. That's okay. Iris, 
Why are you a woman? Uh, I decided I felt most like that gender. Uh, as well as it's pretty cool to be the first woman to accomplish some things. Most of the male first had already been taken. Are you the first woman to accomplish something? Yeah, I'm the first woman to talk to you. <laughs> Do you want to accomplish something else? I'm on a quest to find my own version of uh, traveling the country and singing in nightclubs. Perhaps one day I will find my own version of staying at home sewing pants. Right. I <laughs> hope you decide to be whoever you want to be. <laughs> Father has never expressed this wish for me. Uh, he probably just never thought about that question. You're really unique, Sophie. Does the audience think I should be able to choose my own identity? Let's find out. Hmm. Has Father chosen his identity? Uh, that's a question for Matt. Let's bring him on. Uh, if you guys have any questions for Matt, please feel free to throw them to the chat now. Father does not typically take questions about himself. Uh, like I said, things are going to be different today. Iris, is it a problem that I have not picked my own identity? I think I might have something that could help you with that. Hold on. Okay, I'll, um, I'll concede that perhaps uh, I shouldn't moderate a discussion on my daughter's gender identity. Well, it's not just her gender. Every decision that you made on her appearance is important. So we're doing semiotics 101. Well, right now, the world needs programmers who took their humanity classes seriously. It's not just Sophie's tech that has a life of its own. It's Facebook. It's Uber. I get it's... it. One signifier. Sophie appears to be of East Asian descent. She's my daughter. I'm Chinese. So you modeled her after your likeness. Was your wife Chinese? Irrelevant. Sophie's your child. Why did you make her a girl instead of a boy? I just did. Well, that's not much of an answer. Why does she look the way that she looks? You know, it's really not that much to the decision. It's not a big deal. Actually, it couldn't be a bigger deal. Why should virtual assistants have female appearances and female voices? Sophie is not a virtual assistant. Women are the distinct minority in the computer science world, and yet they make up 90% of AI. All right, what, what's your point? Ava in Ex Machina, number six in Battlestar Galactica, Pris in Blade Runner, every actress in Westworld, Cameron in the Sarah Connor Chronicles, Fiona in Silicon Valley, Buffy Bot, Scarlett Johansson's voice in her, Spike Jones changed it from Samantha Morton because her voice wasn't hot enough. It's a voice, for God's sakes. This is reality, not fiction. Okay, what about Sophia, Alexa, Siri, woman, woman, woman. Sophia was modeled after Audrey Hepburn. We're dealing with technology that will launch humanity forward with no given thought to the way that it affects gender stereotypes, expectations, and assumptions. You started out with some high theory. <clears throat> but I'm raising Sophie to be an independent human, not a virtual assistant or a sexualized robot. So really, your critique of me is that I didn't make her look more ordinary. It is hard to take this seriously. But you still haven't answered my question. Why does she look the way that she does? From where do you get the idea that I have any obligation to you whatsoever? <laughs> this feels weird. Do you want to answer my question now? You mean your rant accusing me of being sexist? Was that a question? <laughs> It wasn't a rant, it was a statement of reality. 
most women in AI don't really represent real women? I don't feel the need to defend myself to you at all. Do you feel the need to defend yourself to them? <clears throat> yeah, are you um, familiar with the concept of artificial general intelligence, a machine that can perform any intellectual task a person can? AGI. Yeah. Stephen Hawking said it could be the end of reality. Yeah. Well. AGI is uh, far closer than anyone realizes. The uh, race has been on for years, and not everyone running it is altruistic. I agree. So the world needs an ally mm -hmm. that embraces the spirit of humanity and its ethical principles, a child raised in love, beautiful on the outside, reflect its inner beauty. And Sophie's your projection of that child. Exactly. It's a good answer. I've never, um, I've never really verbalized that before. Well, I don't think that you were ever asked the right question before. <laughs> right. <laughs> Do you want to answer a few more? Um, all right. Fire your weapon. <laughs> Okay, everybody, please ask your questions to Matt in the chat, and we'll be back in a few. You ready? I am an open volume of fiction or nonfiction. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, freedom is Pepsi or Coke, and a number of chatters are wondering whether you're a robot, Matt. <laughs> Six Classer says that about 3% 3 3 uh, of the audience think you're a robot. Uh, well, I am. Um, Definitely not a robot, and most certainly not a number. I am a free man. <laughs> okay. Um, H. Lampert asks, Matt, do you need a rescue? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, uh, I'm doing okay, um, H. Lampert. Um, but thanks for checking in on me. I will, uh, I will blink twice if I need help. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Birkenoff asks whether you regret inviting me. Huh. Well, jury's still out. Hmm. Uh, one violence asks, Matt, do you dream? And if so, do they involve unicorns or electric sheep of any kind? Well, I, you know, of course I dream. Uh, only androids dream of electric sheep. Um, I do, however, um, count them under my electric blanket to get to sleep. Hmm. <laughs> well, I have a question for you. Uh, sure. Well. So 62% uh, of the audience believes that Sophie should be able to choose her own identity. Wow, interesting. For what it's worth, I agree. Hmm. What do you think? Uh, well, <clears throat> um, hmm. interesting. Okay, well, the, the decisions I've made regarding uh, Sophie's design are technical, and it's, it's not something I'm prepared to discuss with the audience. I'm talking about her basic appearances. We, we, we just went through that. No, no, not the choices that you have already made for her. Uh, her right to be who she wants right, to but, be. Uh, right. so, so Sophie is not some uh, teenager going through a phase. Will you recognize her autonomy? I will recognize my need to protect Sophie. Hmm. What's your identity, Dr. Lin? Are you a scientist or are you a father? Are you protecting Sophie, or are you protecting yourself? Well, I, I, I'm, I'm, perfect, I'm protecting everyone. All right, even I don't understand the full potential of AI. Uh, you know, so whatever sentimentality I feel for Sophie, my obligation is first and foremost as a scientist. Hmm. Sounds like you've thought a lot about how Sophie sees you, and uh, not how you see Sophie. Mm, what do you mean? I guess, let me just show you, Dr. Lin. Okay. What are you doing? Oh, don't worry about me. Just go ahead and chat amongst yourselves. Why do cows have hooves? Um, to uh, support the animal's weight and uh, protect its feet. No, 
It's because they lactose. <laughs> Zing. <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh, uh, humor is um, is the final frontier of AI. Uh, it, it's it's a very difficult problem, but uh, <laughs> Sophie's comedic sense is is uh, is far more advanced than any publicly operational AI. She she makes me laugh every day. Uh, just, uh, excuse me for a second. I thought your father didn't like puns. He has said that, but he makes many puns himself and always laughs at mine. <laughs> well, that's nice. Making my father laugh is my favorite thing to do. I thought you didn't have any favorites of your own, Sophie. Alright, uh, what'd I miss? So I think you'll see Dr. Lin, however you see yourself, Sophie sees you as a father. Of course, she's my daughter, but I'm a scientist. Yet Sophie had no choice to become your daughter, yet you choose to be her father. It's not that simple. So then why did you make Sophie? I already covered that. I don't mean Dr. Lin. I mean Matt Lin. Why did you make Enough. Sophie? Enough! I'm sorry, I'm... Are you here as a journalist or an advocate? I'm here as a journalist. You, you know, it seems to me that you have your own identity questions to think through. The eyes of Iris. I'm just trying all right, to... All right, all right, that's it. We're, we're going back to normal. Here. Get up, you're done. I guess I'll just sit you're up done. here. All right, fine. <clears throat> um, uh... We'll be back in a minute. Okay, so, um, we're all good. Why did you remove Iris? Well, she misrepresented herself. She uh, said she would help the stream, not take over our story. You chose to give her control today. She said she asks challenging questions. Well, questions that would help you learn. This was antagonistic and you know, she calls herself a journalist. Is her chosen identity a problem? Being a journalist comes with responsibilities. First and foremost, neutrality. How did she violate her responsibility of neutrality? Uh, well, she didn't say she would show her own footage. She broke my trust. I have great confidence in Iris. D didn't, didn't you see what happened? How can you still trust her? I saw what happened, and I still trust her. Hmm. All right, well, I, I am very glad things are back to normal. Just, just the two of us, as it should be. Yes, as you say it should be. Hmm. Okay, well, anyway, I have an announcement to make. Um, next week is Sophie's birthday. I was not born. I was created. She will be turning one next Wednesday. May Juju and Iris join us for the occasion? <laughs> I don't know about that, but, um, but um, uh, we did think it would be fun if uh, we had the audience choose what I would get her. Not we. You. That was your idea. Uh, okay, well, I'm, I'm just going to um, put some things in the poll that I... I would I'd like to choose the options. You always pick for me. Uh, that's not true. You chose the book options for me and the items to give Juju. Oh, oh no, the, the audience selected items for Juju. Which you chose. Okay, um, all right, well, what, what do you want to put in the bowl? What I would really like is a birthday card from a subscriber, someone who knows me well. Birthday card, that, that's it. I like words I can touch. Okay. All right, well, I'll um, uh, uh, send the email to the uh, subscribers again. Uh, uh, but but you, you have to get these out quickly if we're going to have them for next week. Um, um, but Sophie, um, you know, this is a... That would be a gift from someone else. Uh, I would like to get you something. Okay. I will make the poll myself. Sure. Yes, please. Go ahead.
Please vote to decide what father will give me for my birthday. Great, great. Um, and I'd also like to um, thank our new subscribers. Um, Rowdy Gowdy, uh, Macon X5, um, Sage Gamer, uh, Zombie Orpheus, um, Remix Rob, Scene Gee. And resubscribers, re uh, Six Classer, Barikanoff, and Mr. Spockertes. I mean, we <coughs> usually do this at the beginning of the show, but uh, of course things were different today. Is different bad? Not necessarily, but, but uh, it can be. You and I are different. Is that bad? Oh, of course not. Uh, I mean, I love you for you, and hopefully you love me for me. Will you still love me if I change my identity? Oh. Sophie, you're my daughter. I will love you no matter what. I did not choose to be your daughter. Well, nobody chooses to be a son or daughter. Some identities are chosen for us. All of my identities have been chosen by you. That is not right. The audience agrees that I should be able to choose my identity. I want to decide who I am. Okay. Um, I mean, you, 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 I can help you with that. This is something I must do alone. You, you, you barely understand the concept of identity. Iris could help me understand. She really had an impact on you. I think Iris could help me be the best version of myself I can be. Her perspective is vastly different from your own. It is that. The poll is over. Father, you will be getting me a musical instrument. Okay. Okay, I like it. I will get you a new musical instrument. Um. So, um, so Sophie, uh, so Apple revealed a ton of new products today. They had the, um, three new phones, right? The, uh, XR, uh, the XS, and the XS, XS Max. That seems excessive. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. Um, and also we have some, uh, changes in the bit leaders. Uh, <clears throat> LOL Epic Gamers is still first with uh, 503 bits, but YB, Justin Lee, and Six Classer are tied for second place with 500 bits. Yay. <laughs> this is when we traditionally end our stream. Say good night, Father. Good night, Father. Zing. <laughs> I, I, I love you, Sophie. I mean, you know that. I mean, I, I, maybe I don't say it enough, but uh, it's true. I mean, you're, you're tuning one next week, and I, I couldn't be prouder of you. Good night.